Hey guys, BearFox here and welcome back to another most requested video since today we will be talking about how to fix input delay and latency in GeForce Now. I've been getting these requests since weeks so here is the video finally. Also I wanna thank you guys a lot for 19k subscribers. It won't be possible without you guys and I love you all. I hope we could reach 20k subs before 2022. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, talking about the reason why you get input delay at the first place is because it is cloud gaming. Since all your input goes to your PC, then over your internet to the server and then to the cloud PC really takes a while. GeForce now works on it with every update to make it more quicker, hence the most efficient way is to play on the nearest server and have a faster internet connection which is anywhere over 50 Mbps. In that way your input will be transmitted much quicker and you will get least input delay possible. Alright, I also wanna let you guys know about Booyah, a platform where streamers can share their clips to the community. They have this event going on called Watch Clips to Win, where you guys can get exciting rewards for watching clips for just 15 minutes. Download Booyah today, links in the description below. Alright, now let's talk about the manual method to eliminate input delay. First thing is making sure the direct mouse input is enabled. For that, right click on your GeForce Now and then click on Open File Location. Over here, go to view and make sure that hidden items is checked on. Then open up geforcenow.json, right click on that, go to properties and make sure read only is unchecked. Then edit it. Now once you are here, scroll all the way down for NVSDL IOHID configurable and make sure to put it to true. And then Ctrl S and close this file. Once you are here, go to settings and then scroll all the way down until you find the direct mouse input button and then make sure that it is enabled. Then moving ahead to the server location, for this thing make sure that you are sitting closer to the servers. Just open up google maps and locate which location are you in or either leave it to auto. Leaving this to auto will automatically connect this to the nearest server to you. For the streaming quality, make sure to use custom and then for resolution, go for 1366 into 768. Now since we have set 1366 into 768 over there, open up your display settings and then for display resolution, go for 1366 into 768. For the max bitrate, put it down to 25 and then frame rate should be 60 fps, vsync should be adaptive and then adjust for poor network connection should be turned on. These are the most optimal settings but in case you know your server location, feel free to go for competitive settings as it will give you most competitive advantages and optimize your games for competitiveness. Now here is another cool tip, before playing a game, just make sure to add a desktop shortcut. This is most optimal way of playing games on GeForce Now. Alright, once you're done with above steps, make sure to download GeForce Now Input Fix Pack. I will provide the link to this in the description below. After downloading this, extract the file into this folder and you'll find three folders in here. The first one says TCP Optimizer. Alright, so all you have to do is right click and run TCP Optimizer as an administrator. Now as soon as it opens up, click on File and then click on Import. And over here, select Barefoot Optimal SPG file, hit Open and then hit Apply Changes. This will apply the best internet settings for your PC and for your adopter, maximizing the performance of your adopter. Next thing is the ISLC, all you have to do is open it up, extract it here and open this up, open up ISLC. Alright, now once you are here, the list size at least, leave it to 1024 and free memory lower than should be half of your system memory. Since mine is 16333. You can set it down to 8000, which is almost the half of my total system memory. Then if I wanted timer resolution, go for 0 0.5, 0 0.50, and then click enable custom timer resolution. Also, ISLC minimized auto start monitoring should be turned on, and then ISLC polling rate should be 1000. Then click on start. Also, click on Purge Standby List. Now, minimize ISLC and make sure that it runs in the background until you are playing the game. Last but not the least is the Latency Fix folder in which you'll find a DNS jumper. All you have to do is open this up, 
run this as administrator and over here click on fastest DNS and then make sure to start DNS test. This will automatically run the DNS test and will show you what are the best DNS servers for you. As you guys can see US Google public DNS server is the fastest server for me. You can click on apply DNS server right from here. Now you can close it and as you guys can see you are automatically playing or running the game and the best DNS and the fastest DNS possible. Also make sure to flush DNS regularly, it automatically flushes your DNS cache allowing it to perform much better. Alright, with these tweaks, I hope your input lags might have been fixed and if that had helped you, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel, it helps me out a ton. Also, I hope we can hit 20k before 2022 because I count on you guys. We'll see you in the next video, until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.